Welcome everyone, this is Umar Aziz, your instructor and mentor at Next Generation Training. And in today's video, we'll be talking about what is network security. So without further ado, let's get into our agenda. We'll start off by looking into security in general. What is security in general and why it's needed? Then we'll look into network security. What is network security? Then we'll talk about CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and availability, which is basically the goal of network security. Then we'll talk about some of the controls which are needed for network security. Then we'll look into network security need, why it's really important in today's world. Then we'll look into cyber crimes by industry and country over the course of last few years. And finally, we'll review some of the types of network securities. So security is about protection of assets. An asset is any resource owned by the business or person that have an economic value. Now, if there is an economic value tied to the asset, it makes perfect sense to take prevention, detection, and reaction measures so we can safeguard the asset. For example, prevention prevents your asset from being damaged or stolen by installing locks at doors, window bars, securing the walls around the property, or potentially hiring a security guard. Detection detects when, how, and by whom an asset has been damaged or stolen by installing burglar alarms or security cameras. And reaction, uh, reaction helps you react so you can recover your assets by calling the police, uh, making an insurance claim, or replacing the stolen items. So what is network security? These are basically set of rules and configurations designed to protect the integrity, confidentiality, and availability of computer networks and data using both software and hardware technologies. Basically, network security combines multiple layer of defenses at the edge of the network and within internal networks. So only Authorized users gain access to the network resources, but malicious actors are blocked from carrying out exploits and threats. The goal of network security is to protect the integrity, confidentiality, and availability of computer networks. Confidentiality means that only authorized individual can view sensitive or classified information. An unauthorized individual shouldn't have access to the confidential information. Integrity means that changes made to the data are done by only authorized engineers, and corruption of data basically is failure to maintain data integrity. Availability, on the other hand, ensures that the system works promptly and service is not denied to authorized users. For example, if the network or its data is not available to authorized users, perhaps because of denial of service attack or maybe because of general network failure, the impact may be significant to companies and users who rely on network as a business tool. Now, there are many layers to consider when addressing network security across an organization and attacks can happen at any layer in the network security layer model. So it's crucial that the network security architecture should be designed in a way that it should address each and every area. Now, network security typically consists of three different controls, physical, technical, and administrative. And uh, let's dive into each and every one so we can understand what is the end goal of each control. So physical network security, basically it's designed to prevent unauthorized personnel from gaining physical access to network components such as uh, network cabinets, routers, switches, firewalls within those cabinets. So controlled access such as locks, biometric authentication, and other devices is essential in any organization. Technical network security control protects data that is stored on the network, also known as data at rest, or which is in transit, also known as data in motion, in and out of the network. So the protection is twofold here. First of all, the security administrator needs to make sure that it protects the data or system from unauthorized personnel and also protect against the malicious activities from internal employees. And lastly, administrative network security. It consists of uh, security policies and processes that controls user behavior 
including how the user is getting authenticated to the network, their level of access on the network, and how IT staff member implement changes to the infrastructure. So why we need network security? Because there is no privacy on the internet. And internet has made information available to everyone. So in order for an organization to protect its confidential information, network security is needed. And just think of it, digitization has transformed our world. How we live, work, play, and learn all have changed. Every organization that wants to deliver the services that customers and employee demand must protect its network and ultimately protecting its reputation. According to one statistics report, there will be close to 6 billion internet users by 2022. And the other most important thing to take into account is the increasing amount of large-scale, well-publicized security breaches which are going up every year. Just to name the few, in 2016, 3 billion Yahoo accounts were hacked in one of the biggest breaches of all time. In 2016, again, Uber reported that hackers stole the information of over 57 million riders and drivers. Then in 2017, 412 million user accounts were stolen from FriendFinder sites. And in 2017, again, 147.9 million consumers were affected by Equifax breach. And this is just a chart representing the average annual cost of cybercrime by industry. And as you can see from 2017 in 2018, there is a 12% increase on an average per industry. And if we talk about the average annual cost of cybercrime by country, you can see that from last year in 2018, it's the number of cyber crimes are just increasing. Just alone in the United States, it's been increased by 29%. There are multiple types through which we can implement network security, and here we'll be discussing just few of them, starting with network access control. A network access control appliance let authorize users and devices connect to the network and they keep out potential attackers. So in a NAC appliance, administrators, they need to recognize each user and each authorized device. So then an enforcement through policies can be applied based on their level of access. Antivirus and anti-malware software, malware short for malicious software, which include viruses, worms, trojan, ransomware, and spywares. Sometimes malware infect a network but lie dormant for days or even weeks. So the job of the security administrator to select a software that not only select the malware upon entry, but also continuously track file afterwards. Firewalls. Firewalls put up a barrier between trusted internal network and untrusted outside network, such as internet. In a firewall, administrators, they basically define rule, which traffic is allowed to get into the network and which traffic is blocked. A firewall can be a hardware appliance, software, or, they, or both based on the need in the network. VPN, a virtual private network encrypts the connection from an endpoint to a network, often over the internet. Typically, a remote access VPN uses IPsec or secure socket layer to authenticate communication between device and network. SIM, SIM stands for security information and event management. SIM products pull together the information that InfoSec department needs to identify and respond to threats. These devices come in various form, including physical or virtual appliance and wireless security. So wireless networks are not as secure as wired one and without strong security measures, installing a wireless LAN can be as like putting an ethernet port everywhere. So it's crucial to select the right encryption and authentication type when deploying wireless within the organization. So let's do a quick recap. We started off by looking into security in general. Then we talked about what is network security. Then we looked into CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and availability, which is the goal of network security. Then we saw the controls 
for network security then we discussed about the need for having network security and we also looked into the cybersecurity crimes by industry and country which are rising each and every year and finally some of the types of network security thank you so much guys for viewing the video and i'll see you in the next video thank you guys for viewing the video i hope you really enjoyed it and I'd also like to remind you that if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, be sure to check out our Career Blueprint and Engineer Training Program at www.zerotoengineer.com.